The notary. Wait, listen. I will make a confession. I will give you a full deal. But you have to promise me that you leave Liz out of this. That deal won't happen. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I told Mr. Connolly you Fine, were Rosemary. Get him out of here. Well, well, well. Reverend Wright said that Maine Justice would be sending an attack dog. You're out of your mind. I mean, the Beltway's been saying it for years, but you really are out of your mind. Well, in 30 years on the bench, I've learned their bark is far worse than their bite. Not this time. What did you do, Richard? What the hell did you do? I conducted an in-camera hearing, which I have every right to you do. You have no right, and you damn well know it. You're not cleared to hear national security cases. We have a FISA court for that, and you're not on it. Period. You compelled two federal agents to divulge national secrets under threat of imminent incarceration. They violated my order. To hell with your order! Your order was a per se violation of the Espionage Act, the Patriot Intimidation, Act. Intimidation, threats. This is the way our government works. I'm supposed to just take your word for the fact that this case involves national security. That's right. You're a superior court judge, Richard. This case is so far over your head, it'd make your nose bleed. You intentionally access classified intelligence without authority. I should have you arrested right here and now. Smiling Tommy Connolly. You always were a smug bastard. And you were always a paranoid, self-righteous prick. Your Honor. Here's what we're going to do. You're going to quash this subpoena. Yeah, and if I don't? You will. In everyone's career, there's a crossroads, Richard. A moment where what they'll say next will define their lives, decide their future. This is task force really that important to you. I don't know what that is. And neither do you. You cross the line. I'm willing to move past it. And who knows? Maybe one day when I'm AG, look at you on a real court. <laughs>